This Dior product is also $43 of lies. Ah, I'm getting teary-eyed. Today we are reacting to Kat Graham's natural beauty routine. And for those who don't know or are new here, hello. My name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm a yellow submarine. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm an expert and have been in the industry for over 10 years, and I've personally suffered with acne for 15. I'm a medical esthetician. I love helping others and solving problems, especially when it comes to skincare. And although I've worked alongside and with doctors and dermatologists, I am not a physician myself. That being said, I love analyzing, scrutinizing, and learning from people's different routines. So today, we're gonna see what Kat does in hers. Hey guys, it is me, Kat Graham. I am so excited that you guys are going to be with me. I'm biracial, so my mom couldn't really do my hair. She just dropped me off at the hair salon and I've been doing, getting my hair done by professionals almost every single week since I was like nine years old because my mom just couldn't do it. So I've learned a lot being on quarantine. I haven't had a team of hairstylists that are trained and can deal with everything. I think it's so interesting just to kind of look at how quarantine has changed our routines, kind of our psychology around beauty and how we express ourselves, whether it's not wearing a makeup with masks or like Kat says, her hair. I don't know why, but even when I take off my makeup at night, I wake up and I still find more. So I've been, I love these. They're, they're little, you can get them at like Walgreens or whatever. Um, their makeup removing wipes, Aveeno. My skin loves it. This is why when she wakes up, she finds more makeup on her skin. If this is what she is using to remove makeup or to cleanse her face, it is not doing the job. Oh my God. You see, see, there's still dirt. I don't understand it. It's not dirt, that is foundation. And I say this because I know I used to use makeup wipes when I was first in aesthetic school in 2009. I had horrible cystic acne and I was going to try to understand my skin. And I would sleep in my blemish clearing makeup, wake up the next day and pack more on. And because it was blemish clearing, my 16 year old dumbass thought that that was going to help. Obviously I was breaking out. Falling asleep in your makeup is one of the worst things you can do. And a lot of people do it because they think that they're removing their makeup properly with wipes. These wipes do not remove makeup. They push them around your face and then they add the fragrances or whatever is soaked into that little towelette. It's not actually cleansing your skin. It's all marketing. They're expensive. They're not eco-friendly. Oh God, this is so bad. I'm spritzing my um, Dior Eye Life Oil to Milk Cleanser on my makeup removing pad. This is slightly better because at least it's a cleanser, but you should be putting this on your face and then wiping it off and preferably actually cleansing or washing your face, especially if you wear makeup. Usually it has oils or emollient ingredients. Makeup is normally made to be long wearing to stay on your face. So by just using water or just spraying something onto a towelette and rubbing it around really isn't getting it off. This Dior product is also $43 of lies. When you look at the ingredients, it's sweet almond oil. This is a fantastic oil, but guess what? It's like $7.99 at Trader Joe's. You can get the exact same stuff at the drugstore. I cannot believe that Dior is selling a Hydra Life oil to milk makeup removing cleanser. It is oil. It is basic ass almond oil. This is, this is highway robbery. Oh my God, I should start selling hair trimmings and just put the word Dior on them and all of a sudden I'll make a killing saying that they're fake eyelashes. That is how much bullshit is going on right here. I've ranted about the luxury beauty industry before and about how their process actually works and how they're able to make these markups and rip people off just by their names. Please save this to your watch later playlist and watch this after because what the industry is doing to you is just pulling the wool right over your eyes. This is a prime example. <laughs> so this is my favorite serum capture youth you can see it it's a glow booster i've been really just like applying it to my face again the streaking the dropper across the forehead we've spoken about this before it is not good skin hygiene however this is why products are formulated with preservatives preservatives stop any bacteria from your face from getting into that dropper and infecting the bottle when we look at the ingredients of this at least it's 
it has ingredients. <laughs> it does look like a vitamin C serum because it has ascorbic acid. This could give her a bit of a glow. Um, overall, it's basically dipropylene glycol and glycerin. So a watery type of glycerin that's a little bit hydrating to the skin and a bunch of fragrance in there. Um, we've got castor oil. I do like to see adenosine in here. Adenosine is something we actually use in medicine, um, especially in ACLS for people who are having heart problems. But when adenosine is applied topically to skin, there might be some wrinkle reducing or some firming or kind of plumping benefits to it. Um, but overall, I would not spend, what are they asking, $95 for this? You've got to be kidding me. Vitamin C, vitamin E, and adenosine. Mix them together, put them in a solution, or a vehicle to carry them, one that works with vitamin E, which is fat soluble, and vitamin C, which is water soluble, and apply it to your face. And you can do that for $15 to $20, and you will save yourself a shit ton of money. I just can't believe this is a product on the market. I, how, why do people buy this? Look at this. It has 15 reviews on Sephora. That means that at least 15 people have wasted their money on this. Like, how? That's really my routine, and then what I do is I just like, chill and then I get into my hair. Her skin looks amazing and I don't understand. I know she's a celebrity. Did she used to get facials? Does she have access to devices? I just don't understand how she looks this good. I've been very careful to not use heat on my hair. Just I really wanted it to grow. When I first started quarantine, I think my hair was maybe to here and now it's to here, which is nice. A lot of people are worried about hair growth and hair breakage. Think of it, your hair grows from the root, so as long as you're keeping the inside of your body and your scalp healthy, it should grow well. Your hair doesn't grow from the ends, it's dead keratin. However, if your hair breaks, it becomes shorter. If you get split ends, they break, they become shorter, and that leads to hair damage, which makes your hair look less healthy and also shorter. So not using heat stops some of that breakage and could help the hair grow longer. Also, your diet plays a huge impact in this and also your hair grows faster in the summer or in hot weather FYI but you know this is not ever something that I would have to do I would keep my hair in cornrows and just you know throw on a wig because most of the jobs that I had done as an actress you know they wanted a certain kind of of look four months now and I haven't straightened my hair so you can see it's really healthy it's been really therapeutic for me to just wear my hair really, really big. So, let's get it big. Can you hear me? First off, her hair journey in quarantine sounds so empowering. Like, isn't it amazing to get back to your natural hair or your natural skin and like, start to be okay with that. I don't know, I found it very therapeutic as well. I'm still on a journey to love my natural curls as well, but it is what it is. The only thing is that she says she hasn't been heat styling, but she's using a hair dryer, which is heat styling. If you're really worried about hair breakage, the best thing you can do is just let your hair dry naturally. Because when you take wet hair and put heat on it, you're basically evaporating all of that water and forcing the hair to get rid of it really quickly, and that can leave the cuticle like really, really stripped and dehydrated and like, Almost think of it as being porous, and that can lead to breakage down the line. So the best thing is just a little bit of air dry. The African Afro texture is not something that Hollywood has ever necessarily embraced. So I hope that I one day can play a character that I actually look like. I just love just having a fro. I don't know. Quarantine has completely changed me. Um, I don't know that I would even have shown this to you guys before. So these are my favorite oils. Right before quarantine, I had a week of press to do. We didn't know what was happening. It was just flights were getting canceled, um, borders were getting closed, and why am I crying over conditioner? This is so stupid. Um, <laughs> But Rachel gave me this and she said, I want you to start to use this on your hair. And I was like, fine, you know, I get a bunch of products all the time. And I, it was almost like she knew I was gonna be on my own. And I've never had to be on my own with my hair. Wow. So anyways, I really love this product because this was the product that helped me figure out that my hair will work with me if I don't give up on it. So, sorry guys. <laughs> ah, 
I'm getting teary eyed. Um, what she's talking about is so real. Whether it's a product or a routine, we all, I feel, those of us who have struggled with our hair, with our skin, we've had like that one defining moment that we like realized, hey, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> or I am okay with who I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's powerful. <laughs> So I love it. It's super simple. It's like $7.99, you can see. Literally, I take a whole scoop. I love this stuff. This is, I was never showing this. I just put it all over my hair. And my hair just loves it so much. And it seems like a lot. Watch how quickly my hair drinks it up. So for Vampire Diaries, I've worn um, a lace front for many years. So the glue and the wig clips and the pulling and the braids were hard on my hair. I think for like the All Eyes On Me movie, I had done a perm because I had a pixie cut. But then after that, I said, I'm done. I am so done. I, don't, I just want to have a master fro. My natural hair is curly. It's a type three. Hers is obviously a type four. And although I can sympathize with her, I can't totally empathize with her. Um, you know, and I don't understand her struggles from a first person perspective, but just trying to imagine, you know, what it feels like by an industry of Hollywood that your hair isn't good enough, that you have to clip it back and like, you know, wear these wigs and like, you know, staple these to your scalps. I'm remembering back to my modeling days where I would have weird hairstyles or they would cover up my skin with makeup and I would just kind of shut up and go along with it. Um, it was definitely a lot more passive and less outspoken those days, um, which showed up both in my work and even in the relationships that I was having, which were not a healthy experience. But it really makes you wonder what must that have been like for her you know, and how is that impacting your psychology of what you do or don't like about you or what you feel you need to suppress? Um, she said she wanted a role that looks like her. Again, I know she's an actress. I've never seen one of her movies, but um, <laughs> Hollywood needs to step it up and someone needs to get her a role in that. So like open call. Anybody know a person? Please, please. Another product that I love, Briogeo. It's amazing. Black owned, and you can see this, basically my curls will do whatever I want them to do. And then when I take it out at the end of the day, it's just like so, you know, soft. She goes through her makeup and makes her face look even more flawless than it already is, but she didn't use a sunscreen. Sunscreen is the most important part of a daytime skincare routine, and yes, that applies to all skin types and all skin colors, even those who have black or African American skin. There's a myth that people with darker skin colors don't need to use a sunscreen. That is not true because skin cancer and the sun do not discriminate. It is true that people of darker skin have eumelanin, and again, the reason our skin creates melanin is to protect us from the sun, from that UV damage that can hurt our DNA. And people of darker skin types normally don't get sunburns. However, they can still get actinic keratosis, squamous cell carcinomas. Um, it's still dangerous and they still need to use sunscreen. The problem is with the sunscreen market in that there aren't a lot of great sunscreens that don't flash back or give that white cast for darker skin. That's something that needs to be worked on. There are few that I can recommend, such as these that don't flash back. However, I like mineral sunscreens, not chemical or organic sunscreens, and unfortunately, mineral sunscreens are normally what leave that white pasty cast. There is one that I know of that I have recommended in the past, which is this one because it's tinted. It is mineral and it does work very well. Um, but again, this is, again, where Hollywood and the beauty industry and the skincare industry really need to step it up. I was not, this is probably one of the most uh, emotional and like resonating Vogue videos that I've ever seen. I have never connected to Vogue on this kind of level. Um, I guess it's Cat, not Vogue, but the struggles that she shared with her hair, I can slightly understand, and they really translate to how I felt about my skin um, and really how quarantine has changed us. I don't know, this was like a big emotional morning. I was not expecting this when I sat down to film today. <laughs>
Overall, her skincare routine needs a lot of help, but she looks so good. I'm like, how does your face not look like a mess? Like, I can just watch this and my face will break out tomorrow. I swear to God, I don't know how some people have such amazing skin. Make sure that that like button is blue, and if you haven't subscribed, feel free to join the Butterfly Family, where we talk about skin science, cosmetic chemistry, and help you understand and embrace your beauty. Overall, remember to be beautiful both inside and out, and go watch this video, specifically talking about Armani and Victoria secret model Barbara. I'll see you right here in the next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.